Anxiety and worry in Newton after pe police say three elderly people were found stabbed to death in a home there. Good afternoon. I'm Paula Eben. Investigators say they have no suspects yet. They're telling people who live in that community to lock their doors and windows. WBZ's Nick Giovanni is talking with neighbors. Crime scene tape still blocked off Broadway Street in Newton Monday morning. A police cruiser remained parked out in front of this home. It was the scene of a triple homicide. Shocked. I couldn't believe it. Still can't believe it. Neighbors being told to lock their doors after investigators say three elderly victims appeared to be stabbed to death. Their bodies discovered Sunday morning after Middlesex DA Marion Ryan says they were due at church. Investigators say there were signs of forced entry. I am very concerned with such a violent crime taking place and Whereas um, this individual, individuals uh, could still, uh, are still at large. According to the DA's office, all three victims were related, including a couple celebrating a golden wedding anniversary this weekend. They were very good neighbors, yeah. Helped out in the wintertime with the, with the snow blowing and everything. As far as the Newton Police Department, we won't rest until we, we find out who did this. Investigators asking anyone who lives in the Nonantum or Newtonville area to check their home surveillance cameras for any footage that appears unusual because they believe the attack may have been random, which was unsettling news to neighbors. We have signs of forced entry. We have no reason at this point to believe there is a connection. That's why we are concerned particularly about the safety issue. I hope not. <laughs> I'm moving if it's random. I'm not staying here. Investigators say there was an attempted break-in reported about half a mile away from this home Sunday morning at a home on Brookside Avenue. Well, it's not clear if there was any connection at this point. If you do have any information, you're asked to call Newton Police immediately. Reporting in Newton, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.